Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Apple event on November 10th, the company announcing more details on its transition to Apple Silicon processors in the Mac. The company announced its new M1 processor, a new MacBook Air, a new MacBook Pro, and a new Mac Mini. Apple introduction of its new M1 processor, its first Apple Silicon chip for the Mac lineup. Apple says the M1 processor delivers up to 3.5x faster CPU performance, up to 6x faster GPU performance, and up to 15x faster machine learning. Apple emphasizes that the M1 chip is the first designed specifically for the Mac. It is optimized for Macs in which small size and power efficiency are critically important. As such, the M1 features an 8-core design with 4 high-performance cores and 4 high-efficiency cores. In terms of graphics, the M1 processor includes 8-core integrated GPU, which Apple says can handle multiple 4K video streams, gaming, and more. Apple says it's the world's fastest in graphics in a personal computer. The M1 also brings Apple's neural engine to the Mac for the first time with a 16-core architecture. This offers improvements for things like video analysis, voice recognition, image processing, and other machine learning tasks. Finally, Apple emphasized during the event that MacOS 11 Big Sur is engineered to take full advantage of the new M1 processor, offering things like waking instantly from sleep, improved Safari performance, and even better battery life iPhone and iPad apps on the Mac through the Mac App Store Rosetta 2 translation allows you to run apps made for Intel Macs on Apple Silicon, and sometimes apps perform better in Rosetta with M1 than they did with Intel, Apple says. Universal apps are apps built for Apple Silicon and Intel processors and are downloadable from the Mac App Store. Apple also introduced a new 13-inch MacBook Pro powered by the same M1 processor with an 8-core CPU and an 8-core GPU. Apple says the new MacBook Pro is up to 2.8x faster than the previous generation in terms of CPU performance, and up to 5x faster in GPU performance. The MacBook Pro also features a new active cooling system that should help thermal management. It'll be interesting to see how the MacBook Pro and its cool system are able to sustain heavy workloads with the M1 processor, compared to the MacBook Air's fan-less design. Again, the MacBook Pro really shines in terms of battery life, with Apple saying it offers up to 17 hours of web browsing and 20 hours of video playback. This is twice the battery life of the previous MacBook Pro and the longest battery life ever for the Mac. The new MacBook Pro features two USB-C ports with Sable today for $1,299 for an 8-core configuration with 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. You can upgrade to up to 2 TB of SSD storage and to 16 GB of RAM and build to order new Apple MacBook Air powered by the M1 processor. Apple says the new 8-core CPU performs up to 3.5x faster than the previous Intel MacBook Air, while the 8-core GPU is up to 5x faster. The M1 chip storage controller and latest flash technology deliver up to 2x faster SSD performance, Apple adds. Notably, the MacBook Air also features a fan-less design, so it remains completely silent regardless of workload. Other than that change, the new MacBook Air design is largely identical to the previous generation MacBook Air. On the side, you'll find two USB-C ports with support for Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4. But where the new MacBook Air really starts to shine is in its battery life numbers. According to Apple's data, the new MacBook Air features up to 15 hours of web browsing and up to 18 hours of video playback. This is up from the 12 hours of battery life offered by the $2,999. For the base configuration, you get 8 GM of RAM, an 8-core CPU, a 7-core GPU, and 256 GB of storage. You can upgrade to 16 GB of RAM, to an 8-core GPU, and to up to 2 TB of SS. Apple says the new Mac Mini also features an advanced thermal design to help sustain performance while staying cool and quiet. There's also support for up to displays, including the Pro Display XDR and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. The new Mac Mini features two USB-C ports on the back that support Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4, alongside two USB-A ports, HDMI 2.0, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Mac Mini also notably got a price drop, with a base $199, which is $100 than the Intel model. The base configuration offers the M1 processor with an 8-core CPU and an 8-GPU with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. You can upgrade to up to 2TB of SSD storage and to 6. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.